Hey lovelies. For some reason, I couldn't get the banner to go. So if you want me to, I can like count down and give you guys some fun intro music. But if not, we'll just get started with all of the sparkle tonight. I hope you all are doing really well. Thank you so much for hopping on for tonight's Glam Shop festivities. So I did do a double check take to make sure that we're good with audio, but I just wanna check. Give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me. <laughs> so if you aren't new to my channel, you will know that Glam Shop has quickly become one of my top eyeshadow brands ever. And I'm very excited to be sharing with all of you the new Velvet formula. I have to say that I do feel a little bit like Glam Shop is teetering on possibly becoming the next ColourPop with like launches all the time, which <laughs> it's a little frustrating, but when I saw this launch, I was like, oh, but these look really special. They have some fun glitter to them, a little bit of shift. And I think that I'm, I'm very excited. When I pulled everything out today, I was like, yep, no regrets. You know, it's going to be good when you're like, I should have bought more. <laughs> and trust me, I should not have bought more. Uh, if, if we've talked in the past, like via Instagram, by the way, don't forget to follow me over there. Keep beauty real. You will know that um i've been i've been getting a lot of glam shop i think this is my third order and i've also said like this was it for a while uh i think that you know if you've ever like decided you're going on a diet and the day before you go on your diet you decide okay i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna have pizza and i'm gonna eat ice cream and i'm gonna do all these things that's exactly i think what happened here this was my like eyeshadow binge before i was like okay after this, uh, no more eyeshadow until fall other than the Davina launch and the Cleona launch. So I am throwing that out for all of you so that you can all hold me accountable. Now, if we haven't met before, make sure you follow so that you can keep me <laughs> accountable. But my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real, real honest, real relatable and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, like I said, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos, including my 1K giveaway, not announcement, because I've already announced it, but all the details on that. So I just want to say hi to everyone who's gathering in the chat, all of the shiny, sparkly lovers. Hey, Steven. We have Anara. Hello, Mrs. Unnecessary. Thank you for hopping on. I know you said you were going to be here. Hey, Kara from Beauty and the Frizz. Uh, thank you all so much. We've got Tori. So everybody's like popping in. So I have to know like how many of you went in and bought some of these velvet shadows? I know, <laughs> I know a couple of people, uh, in the chat that did for sure. So I am excited to share with you my thoughts on these. I have only swatched one and that's the one that I just posted on Instagram a little bit earlier today, uh, just to kind of like show you guys a little bit of the magic. So I am very excited. We have Let's see, let's count these up here. Nine, 12, we have 14 of the velvet shadows. And then I did go ahead and get one of the, what is it, the Turbo Turbo Plus, so one of the glitters. I just couldn't resist. I decided to dive in and try one of the glitters. And man, it is, it's beautiful in the pan. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna sneak peek to you guys yet. I also have four, four palettes. I have four palettes, so I will go ahead and swatch those for you guys as well this afternoon. I am gonna probably be referring to this as tonight because I'm so used to doing my lives like later in the evening. And also right now outside, I was actually just on Marco Polo with Aileen from Amherst Beauty. She's in the chat right now. And I was like, it looks like it's gonna tornado outside. It's going to tornado. It looks like there's going to be a tornado outside. It is like getting gloomy and weird. So it feels like it's about 7 p.m., but it's not. So thank you again all much. Thank you again all much. Thank you all so much for hopping on tonight. I think what we're gonna do is dive into the Velvet Shadows right away. And for anyone who is watching in the replay, I am going to go in right after this and timestamp everything in case there's something in particular that you wanna see. If you really just came for the swatches, if you do wanna see me do some application, or if there's a palette that you're curious in seeing the swatches as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this. So I'm just gonna kinda see what everybody's saying in the chat. <laughs> well, good. Kara, I'm glad. If if nothing else, I hope that I can make everybody feel better about their makeup purchases this afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have to say, and Stephen Ford and I were talking about this, that 
The thing about the palettes is I don't think that the Glam Shop website pictures do the palettes justice. Like I think, I have a feeling since they've become such a popular indie brand now that they're putting a little bit more work into their photos because I feel like their videos of the Velvet Shadows have been amazing, but I feel like a lot of the swatches and the photos on their website aren't that great. So for anybody watching, definitely look up some swatch videos. There are tons of them out there. Um, I think that's really the best way to really see some of these, especially the palettes, because man, I, I opened them up and I was like, whoa, not disappointed so far if they perform anything like the way that they look. Hey Chai, thanks for hopping on. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in. Now, if you are new to Glam Shop, welcome. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because you're gonna end up with twice the shadow collection <laughs> that you have right now, because they are so, so good. So this brand is based in Poland. So when I am sharing the prices with you this evening, this afternoon, I already did it, uh, we will be talking about prices in euros. Now, I am in the US, so I will be talking as well about US dollars. So. Right now, and of course this changes every day, but right now the exchange rate is one euro is, oh, where did I go? One euro is 1.21 USD. So just know that that kind of factors into this. So with these singles, with the velvet singles, right now they are 359 euros. So what that actually comes out to is $4.36 in USD. Now, um, just know that that can fluctuate. I believe when I bought these, it was at about 133 USD. So you could hop on right now and snag yourself a little bit of a deal. So it is usually in that, I would say 1.2 to 1.35 range as far as I have seen. And they do, I know for sure that they will ship to Canada. So you can definitely like get them probably wherever you are. So <laughs> Inara is so funny. Yeah. So, um, I know that Inara got some of these because, uh, I was, we bundled up on an order. And so, um, I got, to, I got to see all the ones that she wanted. And I just sent her a message that was like, Oh, this is like one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. Cause we have some pretty similar tastes. So, Oh, Tori, you bought a bunch of stuff a while back. So yeah, the shipping right now with everything I'm assuming, are you talking about like just buying things in general and now they're coming to you or was it glam shop? Um, because I feel like shipping everywhere is crazy. And I know that I was saying that, um, you know, I'm, I'm holding out for Davina and Cleona and then, uh, <laughs> Davina got pushed back. I think Cleona's pushed back now just because of like shipping and all the craziness. And I was like, well, it's worth the wait. And this way I can save a few more dollars. So we'll see what that means when it comes to the shopping cart. Okay, enough chat for me. Let's go ahead and get right into these. So I did also buy a couple more of these palettes, by the way. I do like these. I think that the white, it just lets the shadows pop and I have been enjoying mine so far. So they do have empty palettes on the site. So let's go ahead and start uh, with this white rabbit shade. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is turn this down a little bit so that we can see um, how <laughs> how these all look. So I did angle my side lights so that, I'm gonna scoot you guys way in here, whoa. Um, I did angle my side lights so that hopefully we'll be able to see. So this was the lightest shade. This is White Rabbit. I just feel like I don't have enough I, don't, I just feel like I don't have enough like fun, uh, like inner corner. I put this on like zone, there we go, on like zone autofocus. So hopefully you guys will be able to see that. That's really pretty. It is definitely that like, it has yellow flex, but it almost has like a little bit of like a pearly pink undertone. And that is the thing, if you have seen these swatched out on the Glam Shop Instagram page, they almost, it's like there's definitely a shift to these shadows, but the shift comes from the difference between the base and the glitter. It's like very, very, very micro fine glitter and they are so pretty. So I have been very excited to test these out. The next one we have is Dream. And this is the one that I swatched on Instagram. Yes, Aileen, uh, Lisa Eldridge as well. And that's the other, uh, that's the other one that I want to do 
And I was like, okay, well, Lisa Eldridge is not, not cheap. So I'm like, I'm okay with waiting a little bit for her. Oh, I'm already starting to lean my swatches here. So this one is so pretty because it has a, oh, it's like a pearly UV, like that purple teal and then that pink base. I'm going to see if we like this turn up just a little bit. And I obviously just came on with primed eyes and uh, eyebrows. So I'm looking a little cray right now, but that way you guys can help me decide what we're going to do tonight. So do you guys like this with the light up a little bit better? I feel like that shows it just a little bit more, but you can let me know what you want. All right. <laughs> so can I just say, I feel like in the pan, some of these look the same. These next two and Seer, or I'm sorry, Dream, the one that I just did, they all look similar in the pan, but in swatches, I'm pretty sure they're all going to look different. And I was like, Kelly, <laughs> you are so predictable. You are so predictable. So this next one is Grace. And you guys will see here what I mean by like, they look similar in the pan, but once you start to see the like sparkly shift. So you can see that Grace actually has a bit warmer sparkle to it. And it's definitely more pink, whereas Dream has a little bit more of that like ultraviolet-y feel to it. All right, so then we have Seer, S-E-E-R. So these are all kind of in that like pinky family. And I don't know, I don't know what's been going on lately. I'm, I don't usually lean towards, you guys know I love a good rose gold, but like the pinky pinks are not usually something that I tend to lean towards. So this is sear and this looks similar to dream, but it doesn't have as much of that like contrast in the shimmer. I feel like dream has a bit more of like a pinky peach and then uh, Sear is more of that like pink with violet. Ooh, yeah, Anara, why don't I, that's a good idea. So I will do that um, row by row. If I can figure out how to operate my flashlight. Why? Oh, I think my flashlight's on like super low. What in the world? There we go. There we go. So you guys can see. Thanks, Anara. That does help. So can you guys see how shimmery those are? So pretty. All right. And if there's one that you want like a closer up look at or more details on, just let me know. So those are the first three that I got. These next ones lean a little bit more purple. So then we have Charm. I'm sorry, I haven't been showing you guys these in the pan. I will start doing that. So this is Charm. So I think that these just don't, they don't show the magic until you actually get them onto the skin. So... Charm is definitely a little bit dustier. And again, every three, I'll go ahead and pop the flashlight on. And then we have Velour. And I'm obviously just doing these like dry, no glitter primer or anything. I think when I do the, um, when I do my application, I'm going to go ahead and use the Glam Shop glitter glue. So I definitely think that I probably could have picked like not all of these. I feel like I feel like some of these look similar, but when I shine the light on them, you guys will see they're not exactly like the same, but you could 
probably get away with like picking one of each like category, if you will. Okay, this one is much darker. This is Beetlejuice. And you guys know that like, I don't know. I, I can't even say that I don't love purple anymore. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, that's, that's cute. Okay. Because I've been wearing a lot more purple. Like I was looking on Instagram. I'm like, half my looks on, on here are purple lately. All right, let's get out our light. So this is Uh, Beetlejuice. I'm going to try to like angle this so you guys can see. Hold on. Technical difficulties. I'm not used to doing this. <laughs> Come on, light. There we go. So you guys can see like just how much sparkle there are in these. It's so cool. Like, and it's micro, micro fine. So if you are someone who doesn't like glitter, you just want shimmer, that's exactly what you're gonna get from this. It's so, so pretty. <laughs> Kara, well, okay. I'm just trying to be real. I mean, they do definitely have different, different vibes, but I feel like I probably, instead of getting one, two, three, four, five of these, I could have maybe narrowed it down a little bit. Oh, heck yes. Yes, this one, this uh, Beetlejuice would have totally been a good one for Prince. Uh, did they show that collection yet, by the way? Oh, I haven't seen it. So there must have been, Aileen's all up in here. <laughs> I'm sure she's going to tell us. So, because I missed out on that. I did not see what the Urban Decay um, collection looks like. Okay. So let's go ahead and do Maiden. So now we're getting into like some warm, come on, coppery business. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, Aileen, I'm so sorry. I know you were so looking forward to that. Honestly, you guys, I am not a huge um, Urban Decay fan. Like other than, other than their setting spray, which is obviously not even their setting spray. Uh, I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of their makeup. I find, I don't understand what the obsession with their eyeshadows has been. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. That color combo together. Wowie. Ooh, yes. Oh, okay. So Tori, I had so much fun doing my like duping the vibes of the palette with the doodles by the bunny palette that I did the what was that the blossom I might have to do that maybe I'll have to do that try to do like a dupe palette I'll have to go out and look at that later <laughs> okay so this next one is compulsion don't worry Steven you were just missing sorry I'm trying to find my little like focus zone here so I will say, you guys, these shadows, this formula to me, I prefer this over the hollow formula. And I think for me, like, I guess I'm just not a hollow girl. Like, I like the shimmeriness, but there's something about the texture of the hollows. I, I just expected them to pop more on the lid than they did. And I just didn't get, like, they're pretty, but they're just not, like, what I have in my collection from Glam Shop for Hollows is probably going to be what I keep. Ooh, that is so pretty. I can't wait to get the flashlight on that because uh, it is gorgeous. This one, this one was Compulsion. So it is like a rosy brown base with gold and purple flecks running through it. Gorgeous. All right. So let's go ahead and do one more and then I'll blow it up for you guys with the flashlight. This is Bridal. So this is kind of like a copper penny situation. These just have so much dimension. I think if you love, I mean, I haven't put these on my face yet, so I guess I can't really say yet, but if you really love glittery eyeshadow, but you have textured lids and you want that feel and look, but you don't 
like want it to be overboard and enhancing your texture, I think that you're really going to enjoy these shadows because the texture in them is so micro fine. What is going on with my elbow? <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not sure when that situation happened, but that's maiden. So let's get that off. Oh my lord. I'm already a hot mess. <laughs> Yeah, Kara, you're up in my chat with the caps. <laughs> you have to watch out. I might put you on a timeout if you're raging up in here. <laughs> All right, so just so you guys can see some of the like razzle dazzle. So can you see, I'm gonna try to like lean in here, like how sparkly, like it's like the micro finiest. That's not a, that's not a word, but we're gonna go with micro finiest glitter. So freaking pretty. Oh, so good. Okay. So we've got a couple more warm shades to go through. Yes, experienced lids. Thank you so much. All right. Now this one, this is probably the one that I was most excited for. This is Abracadabra, and I'm hoping that you guys will be able to see. So this is a green base with like, kind of pinky copper reflex to it. Oh, so good. Elaine, it's okay. You can take your time right now to stress relief over your disappointment in the, in the collection. It's all good. Wow. Okay. This has some serious pigment. That's a really bad swatch, but it has some like serious pigment. Like, I feel like I could like take this and just like keep on going with it. Wow. Dishwater green. <laughs> I mean, seriously, did you guys see how far I was able to like take that swatch? It doesn't look pretty anymore, but it's all good. Okay, and then I also got Magic. So this is like a deep kind of foresty green. It looks like it might have like more of like a teal blue shift to it though once you get it going. This is gonna be amazing. Now this is one of those shades that I feel like you're going to want to, I mean that one you can see like, that that doesn't need a flashlight. <laughs> you can see the magic of that one, man. Oh, so pretty. But this is definitely one of those ones that I feel like you're going to want to use with like a like a very gentle hand if you're buffing it out because I can see this like starting and then just you just end up with like that blue green all over your face, which isn't a bad thing if that's what you're going for. But I think it could could be pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty intense. Hey, Haley. OK, let's see if I can get some shed some light on this. So you guys can see, so if you can see, I'm gonna try to like lean in here. So you can see in that like olivey green of Abracadabra, you've got that like coppery pink sparkle. And then in Magic, you can see that that sparkle just really shows up. That is like, it's like a lighter green. It's just so pretty. It's like total mermaid vibes. I'm gonna turn this way so that we can maybe get some of these ones too. Oh. <laughs> Anybody wonder what my pants are gonna look like later when I try to take these off? Wow. All right, so one more single shade to swatch that's new. And if we're talking about sparkles and we're talking about green, this is gonna be it. So this is the shade Perky Green. And this is a Turbo Plus. So technically this is a pressed glitter. And look at that. This makes me think Emerald City, like, oh, so good. Okay. Man. So this definitely has a, a slightly grittier feel. It's not super gritty, but it definitely has that slightly sandier feel, almost like some of the hollows do. Okay, we're going to... We're gonna experience this one together. Oh. And obviously this is a glitter, so you're not gonna get the same performance. A lot of that like 
stuck to my arm. So with a press glitter like this, you would normally want to use a glitter glue, but that is so cool. It's like uh, it's like a multi-chrome and a glitter at the same time. And Inara, I know you got this one. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steven. Okay, I'm going to get a little light on that glitter. So good. I wonder how much of this is just going to be me with my arm over my face. It's all good. Okay, cool. So that is all of the shades that I got of the, I mean, obviously the one that we just swatched is not a velvet shade, but the rest of them are the velvet shades. So like I said, I think that these are, if, if you want something that's maybe like slightly more adult, whatever that's supposed to mean, or like soft than like the hollows. I'm gonna pull out a hollow so that you guys can see the difference. Um, and then maybe we'll do a turbo glow too, just so you guys can see, um, cause I definitely have some that we could sort of compare to. So I think that these just have that a little bit more refined shimmer. And then also it's just like a little softer and it's a little different too, because they're like shifty. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see what that looks like on you, Tori. That's amazing. Okay, Anara is asking, can I compare the magic shade to the dark shimmer in the Laguna palette? Yes, absolutely. Because I'm going to swatch all the palettes that I got as well. So I will definitely do that. If for some reason I forget, just holler at me in the comments. And if I don't see your comment, Aileen will just keep blowing it up and then I'll see her comment. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and take out one of the hollows. So I'm gonna pull out something that's like slightly pinky. Let's see, let's go ahead and take Sweet Hollow. So we'll take this one just so you guys can see the difference between this formula. So right off the bat, the hollow formula has like more binder to it. It has that kind of like creamier feel. Let's see, where do I think it's gonna be the best spot to put this? We'll go right here. So you guys can see like the hollows have, I personally feel like the hollows are like, they all look slightly cool because they all have that like holographic silvery look to them because the holographic glitter in every single one of them is like kind of the same, in my opinion. It's just that the base is a little bit different. So they all have that kind of vibe. Oh, Stephen Ford, you just gave me my very first sticker. Thank you. You're so sweet. Oh, okay. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, that's weird. But thank you, Stephen. <laughs> You're wonderful. Okay. Um, I totally just got distracted. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull out a like regular turbo. I don't have like a super pink turbo to show you guys, but I'm going to take, uh, let's take lacy pink so that you guys can see the difference just in the formula. Oh my gosh, let's put it over here. No, let's do it here. Oh, ooh. So here is lacy pink down below. You guys can see that it's better in the shift of the light. So there's lacy pink. So I think that the difference is that, you know, the turbo glows are gonna have more of that, like more metallic quality, whereas the velvet shadows are actually like a satin matte with a shit ton of glitter in them. Like that's how that goes. Hey, Mary. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's so I just have to say, like, I just think I'm going to like this, the, the velvet formula. I don't know. Every time I put a hollow on my eye, I'm like, that's really pretty, but it's just not, it's just not Kelly for whatever that means, but I've only used two of them. So I haven't used all four of the shades yet that I have, all five of the shades that I have yet. So I will hold my opinions out. By the way, especially since my last 
was it my last Glam Shop Live is when I was having all those issues. So I did it either with my laptop or my phone. So what I thought I would do is at some point just film a swatch party video of all of my Glam Shop shadows. But at the beginning of that, like give me a month, but I thought I would do my like top 10 Glam Shop shadows. So if anyone out there is like looking for ideas, I thought that that would be a fun way to just kind of like be able to see the whole collection in a quick way and then know my favorites because I've definitely been dipping into them a lot. Hi, babe. You're <laughs> That's funny. It's worth it though, right? It's worth it. Okay. Coffee break. All right. So let's see. Let me tell you guys about the palettes that I got. So I got, like I said, four palettes. So I did get the Z Alone palette, which I believe is green. Uh, what, I mean, I know that the palette is greens, but I believe that that means green. So I'm excited for this one because it is incredible. Oh, Mary, I, so I love Wizard. Techno Peach, I almost got, and I just had to like slow my roll because I didn't want an odd number. <laughs> And so I was like, well, I'm either not getting that one or I'm getting two more just because I'm weird like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys here. This is the green palette. I mean, you know that I flipped my lid when I opened it up and saw this. And Jeremy was like, that reminds me of the stuff that you have to drink when you have to have an MRI. <laughs> it's like that radioactive feel to it. And then... Let's see here. I also got, and I will swatch these for you guys, but you'll let me know which one you want to see first. So I did get Laguna, which I know has been on a lot of channels. So Anara, you were wanting to see this one or this one? Let me know. <laughs> Aileen, no girl, if, well, I guess that is. So Aileen knows I love a good poopy green. I don't feel like any of these are poopy greens though, girl. Like, at all. I feel like the glam palette gets, or the camo palette gets a little bit more of that, of that vibe going on. <laughs> Inara, we are soul sisters. I'm telling you like, mm -hmm. yep. You just can't, you just can't have those odd numbers in your palette. Okay. So then here we have the camo palette. I have to say, I love the packaging of this. Like, oh, bye babe. Thank you so much for hopping in. So this one, now, obviously this is a marble shadow, but I think that this one is a marble as well. Is that right? Because I feel like it definitely has that marble texture to it. Okay, and then I also got the Celebrate palette. And I haven't seen many people who've picked this one up and I have to say, I'm very happy to have gotten it. I think it's gonna be honestly a really nice one for spring and summer and also just like quote unquote wearable color story and something that you can actually like still pop in some other colors from. So for anyone who hasn't gotten a Glam Shop palette or a Glam Shop shipment, I have to say their packing is incredible. And I think part of that is because they know that a lot of times if they're shipping overseas, there's gonna be a lot of banging around, but I've never gotten a package that has been so well packed. All of the palettes were bubble wrapped and the clamshells came bubble wrapped. And then also they have a little foam insert and the um the shadows also have them let me just pull these out so when you get a glam shop palette every single shade is covered with one of these foam jobbies so everything is super super protected now i know that sometimes things do happen um i will say in one of my palettes uh one of the very soft formulas some of it was stuck to this so when i lifted it up it kind of like popped off and was on here, but I just had to press it back into the pan. Not a big deal. You guys know that more like flaky formula that's more loose, but this is the Celebrate palette. Like how cute is this? I love this. Oh, I do have one more shade. Oh, Anara, thank you. I skipped out on that one. I might've skipped out on two shades. We'll, we'll go back in just a second. Um, so, Right away, what is so funny is this shade here. Oh my gosh, this dress dress cowiek. Yeah, never gonna pronounce that right. So this to me is like 
the duochrome shade in the Samantha March palette, like this is the grown up like superstar version of that shade that was supposed to be kind of shifty. So I'm really excited to try that just because that shade, while pretty, I don't think I'd ever like classify it as like a true duochrome. Okay, I am getting ahead of myself. Thank you, Inara. I did actually get, I think I um I totally forgot. Yeah, I forgot two shades, you guys. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have room on here? Yeah, we can do it here. Okay. Thank you. Inara's saving me. <laughs> I was going to say, when um, when Mary was talking about the Turbo Peach, I was like, I thought I got like a warm shade and that's why I didn't get Turbo Peach. So this is Warm Amber. So I love this one. This, I think, is going to be on my lids through the summer. Let me see if I can get up here for you guys. Oh, Kara, you were just doing your monochromatic orange looks. That would be a great one. That is really pretty. And then I did get one of the red shades. I got the shade Lover. You guys can see this one. Oh, and Inara's a, <laughs> Inara's a red lover too. So we were twinsies on this one. That's another one that's like, oh. so I think if you keep this like more saturated, that is like a, a red with pink, like pink shifts to it. Let me pull up the flashlight. I feel weird just holding my arm up for you guys. That's odd. All right, come on. So... So you guys can see, it is definitely more of that red base, but it does have like a pink shift to it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love both of these so much. Like they're just, they have so much character to them. Ooh, I love it. Oh, Lisa, thank you so much, sweetheart. You're amazing. Hey, you know, like we're happy to hang out with you while you clean. I, every single time I go, I clean and unless Jeremy and I are like jamming out to some music and every time I'm at the grocery store, I'm always listening to YouTube. <laughs> it's like, it just makes all of the chores a little bit better, right? All right, whoa. Oh, so cool, I'm loving these. Okay, okay. So which palette would you guys like to see first? Is there anything like, I feel like, I mean, I know camo was all over. And I know we've seen Laguna. Has anybody seen Celebrate Swatch? I haven't. I don't know if I just missed it. Yeah, the red is amazing. Okay. And Anara, I'm sure that you, I'm sure that you answered my question about the, the one in Laguna. I'll definitely, the middle dark one. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. So I will definitely swatch that. Oh, you can you guys even see? Like, I've got like, if my hands look really sheeny, it's like covered in like micro glitter. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch some of these. Hold on, I just missed a comment here. <laughs> oh, Tori, are you talking about the camo palette? Because <laughs> that's totally right. It is, it is right. It's sort of like a a rotted, dusty green palette, and I'm here for it. Hey, Jessica, thank you for hopping in. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna quickly go through and swatch these because I haven't seen this one done. So I'm gonna start with this one, and then you guys let me know in the comments. Um, the Probably the best way is to drop a heart, like, because then that way I can really see it. So drop a green heart, drop a blue heart and then let's just go with like a yellow heart because then I'll be able to see it a little easier. Okay, so I'm gonna go across row by row and I'm just gonna swatch these like. Oh, a collab idea, like a palette crawl. Okay, we're gonna have to hook up on Instagram and I wanna hear this idea because that sounds awesome. And thank you so very much. 
Okay, so we're gonna go through, we have Albatross and Inzineer. Wow, okay, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these. Musa, ooh, that's a pretty shade. Okay, so top four in this palette. So obviously we've got some mattes in here. That's a pretty one. I like it. Uh, I will say that these mattes are pretty soft. So you don't need to go in with a rough hand. It definitely, uh, you don't need a lot. Okay, so we'll go through with the second row. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mats. And one, two, I would say like these definitely, these shimmers don't all have the same formula as each other. Like there are some that are more of that like really bound formula and then some that are a little bit like lighter and more sheer. And I'll show you guys. Okay, so then we have the next four shades. So I feel like this shade here, and this is that like green in the palette. This is a little bit more of that like binder thick shade. Mama Lynn, hey! And then this one here, which I think is gonna be so pretty is like a topper shade that has that more like sheer formula. All right, so let's go in with the next row and the next row is the one that has that one that I said is sort of like the one from the um, Life's a Draft palette but like a more grown-up pigmented version. All right so we have a really nice like murky so the nice thing about this palette is you've got some murky tones and you've got some bright tones and then some neutrals like when I was looking at this I was just like oh um hello look at that Matt oh whoa So here we have, oh my gosh, that bottom swatch, great. Mama Lynn, you need to have your daughter do a swatching school. That one was done with my pinky. I mean, these mats like do not, oh, <laughs> Jessica, thank you, <laughs> but they are not beautiful. Uh, these mats do not disappoint. And that's the thing that I find really impressive because I think sometimes it's hard to find a brand that really does both well. And, you know, I have mattes in my two other Glam Shop palettes that I have, and I've used them quite a bit, and I have not been disappointed. They are very, very pigmented. I haven't found them to be patchy. Now, I did get a red palette and a yellow palette, and I so I don't have, like, some of the more tricky ones, like blues and purples. Um, I may have, be able to play with some of these purples now, but I've been very, very pleased. Hey, Lock Maiden and Molly, thank you for hopping in. Okay, so last row, I am just going to, are we going to do it? Oh, yeah, I can do it here. I've got big arms. <laughs> okay, so this bottom row. So can you guys see, like, I just feel like this is a very user, I don't want to say user friendly, but something that I feel like everybody could find something in. Ooh, I'm hoping that this orangey shade is not a disappointment. <laughs> All right. I feel like I'm Wayne Goss watching on my face. So then there are the last four. Hey, Rupee. So I probably should have started up a little further on my, oh, I should have started on my arm. Arm. Okay. So that is the Celebrate palette. Sort of. <laughs> so I'm really happy with this one. Um, but you guys can see like you have to be careful. The very flaky shadows are pretty soft. So you can see this one, um, which was beautiful, by the way, that one there. He, she got kind of like roughed up. And then this second shade here 
definitely kicked up a lot in the pan. That totally doesn't bother me. And normally I'm not like rubbing my finger through for a swatch party. I'm just, you know, going in with a brush, but just be aware of that. So for those of you that just hopped on, I did go through all of my velvet shadows. This one's a glitter, but the rest of my velvet shadows. So that will obviously be available on the replay. All right, so let me see what we wanna go in with next. Should we go in with the green palette or should we go in with Laguna? Maybe I'll go in with Laguna since Anara was asking for a comparison. I'm gonna need a, net, a new swatch. All right, so let's see uh, who is planning on getting the, oh, hey, Betsy. Who's planning on getting the new Divina launch, the Halo Moon? I am very, very excited, but I have to say, I'm probably equally as excited, hoping that she's gonna have a thick restock of mats because there were quite a few that I missed out when there was like a few left during the last sale. And oh, I am just like so in love with the Divina mat. So I definitely plan on picking up a few mats and probably the entire new collection just because they all look super pretty. I am going to turn this banner off because it's driving me nuts. All right, so I'm just going to let these dry. So Stephen, honestly, I can't, I can't really think of anything that's similar because the the glitter is so micro fine that I can't think of anything that is the same as this. I mean, I think I wouldn't be surprised if some brands have like a shade or two in a palette that would be that way. But you know how, like, let's say ColourPop, for instance, ColourPop does that shade that's like a matte with glitter in it. And it's so annoying <laughs> because it's like you put it on your eye and the glitter either just doesn't show up at all or it just kicks off and then it's on your face. I don't think that these are gonna be like that. I haven't put any on my face, we're gonna get there, but I don't think that these are gonna be like that. I think they're like really an integral part of the formula and they're much finer. So I can't think of anything the same. Um, if anybody else has tried a formula that's similar to this velvet, let us know in the comments. All right, let's go through with Laguna. So I'm gonna do these quick because I know that uh, we've had some people do these, but this way we can kind of like compare. So we'll do the top three here. Pretty. These are just so ethereal and shimmery and I am here for it. I am, I am so excited to have this one. These are the kind of shades that I need. These like fun, light, sparkly shades. Oh, by the way, um, what I primed my eyelids with and I didn't set it, so I will probably like go back through with a little bit, but I primed my lids with the Janessa Myricks Nude Color Fix. I used Nude Number Two. I've really been enjoying using it as a primer. Um, I did my full Janessa Myricks haul video um, I have it all edited other than the swatches. I'm going to swatch all of my color fix so that you guys can see, but I did do a full face and that one will be going up. If not tomorrow, it'll go up next week. Um, and so I'll be able to share that with you guys, but I was, I meant to use the nude color fix in the video as a primer and I kind of forgot, but the shade that I needed didn't need a primer that. Oh, okay. There we go. So that blue, it was just my horrible swatch. Ooh, I really like, so Anara, this shade here, this is the one that you wanted to see. I will, I will just compare them all. Oh no, the, the one below it, Laguna. Okay. Yeah, I will compare those two. That's why I didn't wipe off the other arm. Okay, so then we'll do the last three here. So pretty. It definitely feels drier. The one in the Laguna palette feels drier. I will say that.
sorry, I, I went out of order with my fingers. So I was like, wait, I thought I swatched all three of them. So pretty. Oh, this is like beach paradise in a palette. I don't know. I don't know why I was missing out on this one because so it's colors like this, this like super aqua that I don't normally lean towards, but I really like, I really like this. Mm, so good. Okay. So let's go ahead and take magic and we'll just swatch it side by side so we can see. So we're going to take magic, which is one of the new velvet shades and let's swatch it right here. So I think that it's definitely magic is a lot shimmerier. Is that a word? Let me swatch it right below so we can really like compare. Can you see that? So it has lighter sparkle and much more sparkle. Let me get out the flashlight. So the, the, the velvet shade is the one on the bottom. Trying to get it in focus. There we go. Did that help? Yeah, it's a little lighter and it's much more like dazzly sparkly. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I totally understand. They're so pretty. All right. Oh, I got to make sure to put this one back so we don't have any, have any casualties. Yes, Betsy, I am really loving them too. We'll have to all, we'll all have to like do a, do a comparison so that we can see which palettes, like if there's any palettes that one of us has that nobody else got. Okay. Welcome back, Kara. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this green palette, shall we? I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave these on my arm in case anybody has any questions about any of these. 100% agree. 100% agree, Stephen. Oh, uh, I will say these do stain. Oh, not too bad. I got it. I just was using a, a wipe that was giving up on me. Yeah. I think honestly, I, I just think mainstream brands, like they just aren't quite hitting the mark as much with shadows as indie are right now. And I think that that's just, that's just part of it. Coffee break. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this green palette here. I am so excited for this. So the first shade that I opened up was this one. And I was like, ooh, that looks so different. Like, it's just, there's just something fun about it. And of course, these two, this like sort of peridot color. And then, like I said, that radioactive. Yes, <laughs> I know. I know what I should have done was like not put a necklace on and I could have like swatched across my neck. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll do this one quickly. So let me know while we're swatching here what you guys want to see. Obviously, we're going to be using some of the velvet shadows. Do you guys mostly want to see those used? We can use two different shades like on each eye and then just pull into these palettes for mattes maybe. My face is here for you. So there are the top three. Ugh. That top shade is just so dang pretty. You guys know me, I like a good kind of like celery vibe look. I'm trying to dry my hands off in between each wiping so that we aren't like working with wet shadows. I mean, uh, uh, hold on, not my face, there we go. Look at that, look at that. This one is like not quite as exciting. So this one, again, feels a little bit stiffer and not as pigmented as like the, the velvet shadows. Yeah, there's a lot of base color in the velvets. 
but that, oh, that like, and it's not coming up as vibrant, I feel like. Like, I don't know. You're just not quite seeing all of the magic. Wow. Yeah, that's totally cool, Rupee. Like, I would be down for that. <laughs> Celery vibe. It's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, and then the bottom three are all mats. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get these three. Again, I'm so far not having any qualms about picking these up. I mean, you guys, this palette... Oh, she's so cute. So cute. Who has this green one? I think, Mary, I think you said this one you have. Yes, celery juice. See, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so for anybody that's watching and wondering prices on these, I wanted to let you guys know the palettes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as far as palette pricing... I'm going to wipe this off while I'm waiting for my internet to load. So, oh, and by the way, I did get the camo collection with the eyeliner. So I thought we could do a green look and use some of this eyeliner because I'm really curious to see how that is. I don't know if any of you have gotten the eyeliner. So the Celebrate palette that we... Uh, swatch first is loading right now. That one is 21.35 euros. And then, oh, nope, it is 26.73. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. And then all of the nine pan palettes are sort of at different prices. So I will get the prices on all of those as it loads up. My, uh, my internet is kind of like, it's lagging a little bit. Okay, so the last one that we have is the Camo Palette. I'm very excited to try this one out. And as you guys know, I always wait as long as I can because I want to have like my first reaction with you guys on, on video. So yes, the Celebrate Palette is $26.73. And then I'll get the prices of the others as they come up. So Camo right here. This is definitely like that kind of like murky, kind of like Tori said, like you, you took the other green palette and uh, left it out. Ooh, that's a really cool color. Okay, so let's get these swatched. I'm just gonna do these quickly for you guys. I am loving this, this like third shade here. That is such a fun, Shift. Ooh. Oh, really? They removed tax from their pricing. I didn't even realize that. Why? Okay, so the camo palette on its own is $15.97. I did get it with the eyeliner, so that was $17.76. Again, this is Euros. Let's move on to those. Next row of shades. And this is the one that includes the marble. And I do really enjoy my marble shades. I, I'm a little hesitant about having one right in the middle of a palette because if you have played with the marble formula, they are a little messy. So you'll definitely want to like play with caution and probably like clean up your palette in between if, if you don't want like glitter crossover but man you guys look at this shade and you're not even so that that middle marble one oh it's not even going to pick it up but because i didn't like smush it too much um like oh it is like you've got lime and darker green in there it's so pretty uh, Steven, you want me to show the blue palette? I, the thing is, is I put the, 
Steven got the blue palette, by the way. Um, I put the I put the thingies back in. The like, what are those called? The foamy things. But I mean, I can pull, pull them pull them out. If you guys want to see the blue pat palette, I don't know why I'm all of a sudden having like speaking issues. <laughs> if you guys want to see the blue palette, let me know, and I will go ahead and pull that out. Steven's taking one for the team there. Okay, so the last shades in the camo palette. My goodness. Speaking is hard. So I do like that this has some different textures. You've got more of like a duochrome. You've definitely got those more like thicker marbly shades. I mean, does anybody remember? Okay, so when Huda Beauty did the khaki palette, this is what I thought I was going to see is like these kind of shades, like not, not what she gave us. So this to me is exactly what I needed from that. And honestly, it's probably less expensive than what the Huda Beauty one was. <laughs> everybody's everybody's like, you can show mine too. <laughs> this is just going to be like Glam Shop Fiesta. Okay, do you guys want to see the blue and purple palette? Let me know. I don't know why I just started yelling too. I'm just getting excited. We've just got all the sparkle and I'm getting turned up. Okay, I'm just going to... Check in the chat here. Oh, Betsy, did you get that one? I didn't I didn't get it because um, I was disappointed in the color story, but I don't know if you ended up actually getting it. Betsy, what did you do for your um, your makeup play date today? So I can go watch it later. I'm gonna get the um, the other palettes quick. Oh, this one's over in the closet. Hold up. All right, I had I had Steven's stash set aside. Oh, sorry for the squeaky chair too. Oh, you bought all three of them. Okay, so this is the blue palette. And so here, this is what I was talking about. This is how all of the palettes come. Nicely packed away with their little foamy friends. And I'm not going to swatch it, but I'll show it so that you guys can see. Okay. So this is one that, um, cause Steven had me open it so that I could see if anything was broken. And this one, while it wasn't broken, it looks like this, it happened to this one too. Well, where was it? This one. So some of the shadow like stuck to the, little like foam things, but I guess it's not like, it's not broken. It's, it's just like a little like, you know, mushed. So this one here is the one that had that like, kind of like pull up in the pan, but this looks so pretty. And you guys, for some reason, the color is not showing up like this, this middle shade is like the most beautiful, like power blue, like, bright, bright, almost like periwinkle shade, but like bluer, but so special. So you're just not seeing everything that is the magic in this one. So that is the blue one here. Maybe now the images have actually come up. Yeah, I agree. It's a beautiful palette. I was saying to Steven, I was like, oh, like I never would have gotten that one from the pictures, but it's so pretty. So the blue one is $15.97. Laguna is 1118. You guys, it's on sale. I mean, and that's a really good, that is, in my opinion, that's a really good price for that palette. The green one is $15.97. And then let's see, I think the violet one that you got, Inara. Yeah, that one is $15.97 as well. I'll grab that one quickly. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to get sparkles all over the outer packaging. And I think um, everybody saw the two that I have, the um, paprika and the citronata or citronaya palette, the yellow one. So I'm very, very carefully going to open this. I'm like, it's like operation. 
not opening, not touching any of the shadows. The suspense. All right, so this is the violet palette. So pretty. I mean, that packaging, so pretty. I like this um this center middle one looks like it's going to be a fun one or this uh top middle one. So cute. Oh, Steven, it is beautiful. Yes, indeed. Okay, I'm going to set these both aside very very carefully so that they don't get harmed. And Inara, I will pop all of that uh that cushion, that foam right back over the top. All right. So, let's decide which colors we want to see. What do you, I'm assuming we want to see a green one. Do we want to do something with some of the greens? Let me know. Do you want me to use the velvet on either side? I will do whatever you guys would like. And what I'll probably do, um, it's already been, we've already been on here for an hour. So we'll see how you guys are feeling. But if you guys just want me to do the eye looks and then I can finish my face later and update on the Instagram with the final look. Oh no, what's sitting in the corner with Candyland? Yeah, that Candyland palette. I was like, I didn't get it because I, I don't know. It was just, wasn't, wasn't my jam. Okay, we're saying green, all right. So let's go ahead. Again, I used, I'm going to like just blend this out just a little bit, but I went ahead and used my Danessa Myricks uh, as my base and I did not set it or do anything to it, but I do have like, my skin has been so dry. So I did lay like a little bit of oil down on my face earlier. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to do, do you guys want to see, do we want to see that like abracadabra shade or the darker green shade? Uh, Danessa Myrick's color fix in the same shade of what you're going to use. I do think I think especially if you're using a shadow that is not opaque, it's going to already make it more vibrant and probably last longer. And the nice thing is like if the shadow shifts at all, like the powder shadow shifts, you'll still have that color fix underneath. So I think that that's a way, you know, to sort of like make it look like it's lasting a longer time too. So I would definitely think that, you know, you get more pow. The other thing is if you're using a really fun, like shifty shade, I think that you would you would really be able to play with the shift by placing something either lighter or darker than the shadow. Like you could place a, a dark blue color fix underneath something or a black to like really pop it out. Or you could do something lighter to really like bring out the shimmer more. So I think that, you know, that's one thing that I'm really going to have fun playing with is just like that layering effect, I guess. All right. We're saying abracadabra. Well, I'm coming. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> okay. So if we're going to use abracadabra, I'm just going to go through and just start building a little bit with some of the greens from the green palette. So I'll probably use like this guy and this like a little bit more murky shade. And then we'll try out using the velvet shadows with the, um, with the glam base. I am really liking that as a glitter primer, by the way. I like that it's really clear. It's not super thick. And that's one thing, I think I said this in my Danessa Myricks video, but that's one thing that I like about laying a color fix down first is like if I were to put this green all over my lid and then lay down a glitter primer, I feel like sometimes that glitter primer can almost like start pulling up the color that's underneath. Whereas the color fix, because they're waterproof, 
that's not going to happen. You still have that really nice rich pigment underneath. So that color will stay there because it's not budging because of the, um, because of the glue glue. And I'm just going through with my spectrum. This is that marble set uh, that was on sale. I'm really wanting to test these to see how I feel about the other spectrum brushes versus the Katie Jane Hughes. I have actually, um, I've noticed a little bit of a difference in some of them. And I can definitely say that I think Katie's set has a little bit more like smaller brushes, but I will be playing with these so that I can do an upcoming review for you guys. If you saw, they are restocking, I believe on Monday, the 17th, the full set, but later, um, I think it was June, later they'll be doing uh, smaller sets. I think they said 11 piece sets. So I have a feeling that it'll be like maybe an eye brush set and then like a face brush set, but we'll have to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Abracadabra. Look how pretty that is, my goodness. So I did get, uh, Stephen, you're talking about the black. So I did actually get the black um, matte color fix. So I haven't tried it yet, but I will definitely do that. All right, let's get out our Glam Shop base. So just very clear if you guys haven't seen this. Now, the one thing I don't think I need to right now because I don't have like color on my lid, but if you're putting this over a powder shadow, I would make sure to either put this on with a brush or put a little bit on your finger. Don't actually like use it right from the applicator or else you're going to get color on your, uh, like in your glue, obviously. All right. So I'm just going to use a flat shader brush to pop this color on. We're going to go into Abracadabra. Kara, did you get Abracadabra? So I'm going to pat first just to really pack the color on. See, like now you can really start to see that like the shift, but it's not like a it's not a foil shift, like a regular like duo or multi-chrome shadow. It's like a sparkly, I don't know. It's a fun shift. And I feel like these build pretty well without feeling chunky. <laughs> you know, like that weird like fish scale effect that some of the shadows can get when you like build and build. Like I think that the marble shadows do that a little bit. Oh, if Betsy's still in here, it's too bad that this isn't like a, like a lime green. Cause I know that she was talking about that, like lime green to pink shift in her multi-chrome video. Can you guys see? That's really pretty. I don't know if I can zoom you guys in anymore, but I think you're in all the way. Oh, I got like another little squinch. I really like it. And I'll have to um, film a little bit of up close action so that you guys can see. It's very pretty. Ooh, yes. I got, I'm assuming we're talking about the, um, the Danessa Myers color fix still. I now have four of the neons, I think. I'm very excited to play with them a little bit more. Betsy, you're getting your um, Glam Shop cart together. I can't wait to see what you get. All right, let's take that white rabbit shade. That was the uh, white shade, like the light shade. And let's pop this one on our inner corner. And I'm just using this straight. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know why I like really focused on doing an inner corner since I don't have concealer or anything on, but it's all good.
I like it. It definitely should have loaded up some concealer first, but it's all good. If I have to, I'll just go in and touch it up later. I like that a lot. Okay. So should we try, just for kicks and giggles, should we try putting some of magic on the outside? I'm going to do it just because I can. And I'm just going to kind of like smush these two together. I mean, these shades are so pigmented. It's like you get a lot of sparkle and a lot of pigmented punch in one. I am here for it. So this definitely has more of that like blue green base to it. Very pretty. I like that. So you guys can see here, like that really shows you that shift of that like sparkle. It's like a glitter sparkle. What the heck? It's glitter, glitter sparkle shift. Whoa. All right. So what should we do? What other colors do you guys want to see? Hmm. Is there like... Should we do purple or red? Because I feel like, no, you know what? We're not doing red because I'm going to save, I'm going to save the red one for my like how to wear red eyeshadow video because I'm doing that one that was requested. And so we will use that one coming up, but let's do, should we do the purple or like this like coppery shade? Oh, I can't decide. I love them all. Okay. Let me see what we have in the palettes so that I can decide here. Mm. Okay, let's use some of the mattes in here and then we'll we'll decide as we go. So we're going to pull out the Celebrate palette. And I'm just going to take the like darker, ooh, these mattes in here are very, very soft, very soft. So what is everybody up to this weekend? Like, I feel like we are working today, like trying to get some stuff done in the house since it's kind of cruddy out. But tomorrow it's supposed to finally be like 75 degrees here. I'm so excited. Like, oh, I want a day outside. So some of it's probably going to be done with yard work. And some of it is going to maybe be like getting some fun in. I don't know if we'll go kayaking or something. We'll have to see and definitely some sleep. I have not been getting enough sleep. Ooh, this, this matte is like a really pretty shade. Oh my gosh. Speaking of sleep, I, I keep forgetting to tell you guys. So, um, Jeremy and I, I think if you watch the collab that Steven and I did, um, we use meditation a lot and we use sleep meditation every night. And even before meditation, sometimes when we're just kind of like looking to sort of like calm down and chill out, we will use like kind of like background like spy music and we have one called zen garden and uh we use the smart home device that starts with a i'm not going to say her name so that you guys don't all like have her start going off on you but <laughs> we uh we use her i think i'm going to use these two let's see oh i'm just kind of like peeking at my i'm going to use these two warm shades. Hold on, please stand by. Let's try, let's try using these two to create like a fun, like shifty warm vibe. But anyway, so we will sometimes when we're just like chilling out at night and it's late and we just want to like relax, we'll turn on Zen Garden. So usually I will be like, A word, play Zen Garden. <laughs> and so we're like in our like Zen mode 
except instead of playing Zen Garden, she plays Sound Garden. <laughs> totally not the vibe we were going for. And it was like, so, so loud. Oh my God, I could have died. It was so funny. We started laughing so hard. It was like, uh, Zen Garden and Sound Garden are two different vibes. Totally. Totally two different vibes. So just be careful if you do that. If you guys ever had like your smart home device, totally not hear what you said. And then she like does something completely different. Super annoying. Okay, so we're going to take the shade Maiden. Dog walking, laundry, and glam shop. Ooh, a bed frame. Haley, I need a new bed frame. Jeremy wants to make a bed, like a bed frame. Um, but I just want a bed frame right now. <laughs> so I want to get one, like, so bad. And so I'm going to probably be looking for a good deal. Ooh, you guys. Look at this shade. This is like, mmm, copper yumminess. Oh yeah, Sound Garden. That would have that would have been good. So while we're sitting here, I should let you guys know if any of you are kind of drooling over the Laguna palette. Um, I should have said that when I swatched it before. I picked up two Laguna palettes because one of them is going into my 1K giveaway. So if you haven't snatched that one up yet, obviously make sure you're subscribed so that you can get a chance to win that. I will be, I would like to do a live to go through everything that is in my giveaway. So I'm hoping to do that maybe next weekend at some point, we'll have to see. Cause I think, um, I know that the magpies have something next weekend too. And so I don't, I don't like to overload all of you with too much going on on the YouTube. So we'll see when I do it, but I'll be sharing everything that I'm putting into that giveaway. But a Laguna palette is in there for all of you because how could I not add Glam Shop when I've been loving Glam Shop so, so much. All right, let's go ahead and go through with that orange shade. Uh, are we gonna put it on the outer corner? Yeah, let's try it. We'll do a warm amber on the outer corner. Thank you, Inara. I'm liking this green eye too. So this way we can see what these look like. Yeah, this warm amber is definitely more of that like true kind of like orangey goldenrod business. So pretty. I like this a lot. So I'm sorry if anybody's going to do another glam shop order, but I am really, I'm really loving these. They're just so like foily. I have to say like some of them are just like really sparkly. And then some of them have that like super fun shift to them. So it really does kind of depend on the shade, but that is really fun. I'm gonna just take a little bit of that red and pop it in the outer corner just to like accent. This is fun. Ooh, now I wish I had like a brighter yellow to like throw in in the front. Maybe we'll do the same. Now I'm gonna have to go through and find a brighter yellow because I want like a light color and we can kind of like transition through. So usually when I'm like using a flat shader like this to blend shadows, I just flip it over to the color that I used before and just smush them together. Smush being the very professional term. <laughs> Have fun with Roblox. I can't wait to see what you got. All right, let's see. Do I have a yellow shade? I need a yellow. I mean, I know I have some yellows. Let's pull out. Let's pull out the Citronata palette. See, even that one. 
All right, we're gonna take Lemonada. Because now I want a yellow in the front. I wanna like, I wanna do makeup, but I also wanna keep up on the chat. I wish I could have this like reading stuff off to me. So let's just try to get a little bit of bright color in the front here. I wish I had it a little lighter. Oh, flaky. Mm. It's not quite light, light enough. Hmm. And I don't have anything that's lighter. I kind of wanted something that was a little bit lighter and brighter, but we didn't quite get there. That's okay. I do like this. It's like a, like a fun, not a cut crease, but it's like rainbow transition. Very pretty. I feel like it's sort of like earth and fire and like green goddess. I love this. So let's see. Does anybody have any questions about anything that I have done? Does anybody have any? <laughs> Lisa, Lisa wants to see more red. I am going to use this shadow in my how to wear red eyeshadow video, but I'm going to make sure to like that one. I'll use that all over my face. I promise. Not all over my face, but you guys know what I mean. So I will probably um, go through and like pop on some more makeup. You guys are more than welcome to hang out if you would like to. Um, I will, like, I think we've gotten to see though all of the shadow, like all of the beautiful goodness. It's been an hour and a half. I feel like we should probably just like hop off and then I will definitely update you guys on Instagram with a full look. I just wanted to really be able to, I didn't want to come on with my face makeup done because I knew we were going to have some glitter fallout, but Mm, we have very, very minor fallout. So that's really impressive too. That is one thing that I'll say. I don't know if it's just from the glam glue that it really stuck everything down, but I don't have a lot of fallout at all. So I'm going to like turn this up a little bit just to see. There you guys can like see a little bit better now that we're done with our swatches. That looks really, really pretty. I am very excited. So let's see. Yeah, I love it. So let's see, we had all the velour shadows. Um, I'm really, I'm digging this green palette. I cannot wait to try out the camo palette. That one will have to be coming soon. I think that's gonna be perfect, like rolling into the fall. So, so good. I'm definitely like excited to have Laguna and I'm really excited to have this celebrate as well. Ooh, maybe Laguna had a light shimmer. Hold on. Uh, it's a blue, it's got that blue base to it. I just need something for my inner corner, you guys. Oh, well. So I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. Let me zoom out just a little bit here. I feel weird with you guys up close to my face so much. Yeah, these are really fun. I love that abracadabra, how it like has that like pink shift to it. So thank you again for hanging out during this live swatch party. These are always so much fun. I really enjoy it. I will be finishing this look and posting some pictures on Instagram for you all. Um, I always enjoy getting to hang out with you and talk about all the things that we love. I think we will not have anything coming up as far as live swatches until Davina comes out. Um, I will have swatching all of my color fix. Like I said, the Danessa Myricks video will be coming up either tomorrow or early next week. So that one will be coming as well. You guys know you can always like hit me up on Instagram in my DMs if you have any questions. Uh, I will also probably be putting up a poll here on my community tab, which I haven't been utilizing much yet. It's so weird to be able to have that, but I'll be putting up a poll as far as when you guys would maybe like a live about the 1K giveaway so that you guys can see all the deets about what's in the box and how to enter. So thank you again so much. I appreciate you lovely so much. It really does mean a lot to me that you take a bit of your time out of your day to spend it with me. So until next time, I will see you really soon. Bye guys.